know, you were... Well, and I assume you remember this, although you were pretty high at the time. Yeah, I was. You were one of... In the first year of the show, I would have a co-host mm -hmm. every night for the week, and mm -hmm. you were one of the original... Yes, co hosts And we had a lot of fun, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. You set me up a couple of times, but yeah, it was fun. What do you mean I set you up? Um, Kelly Osbourne. That uh -huh. was one. What happened? I said some um, off-color things about it, and you, you showed the footage with her sitting on the couch next to me. Oh, yeah. That's neither here nor there. That, yeah, was, yeah. that was cool. That was cool. Did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, but, and, but the last uh, night of hosting, you surprised me with um, skis. Oh, as a gift? As a gift. Oh. And, and I'm looking like... Black people don't ski. Right? <laughs> Why did I give you skis? I have no idea. Maybe, oh. maybe you wanted me to crash into a tree or something as opposed to smoking them. I don't know. Did you use the skis? No. Actually, what happened was I put them in storage. Yeah. And um, I, I must have left it in storage for at least 10 years. Who, who leaves stuff in storage for 10 years? Anyone? OK. Yeah, uh, I do. Yeah. By the time, well, it was one of those ghetto ones. So by the time I got back in there, the skis were gone. Somebody oh, stole great. skis. Terrific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and my, and my... I'll get you some new skis if you think you might use them. I, I, if you do it, I'll, I'll use them. I'll see your footage. <laughs> this show, well, you had the, the great documentary series yeah. about the group, about Wu-Tang, of Mikes and Men. Yeah. And now you followed it up with a scripted series. Yeah. Which is interesting. It must be odd to see people playing you and your friends. Well, Wu-Tang and American Saga um, actually um, premieres... Uh, Wu-Tang Wednesday uh -huh. it's on Hulu. Mm -hmm. And so, this show, as a young man, you worked, you really worked at the Statue of Liberty. Best job I ever had. Really? Best job I ever you had. You love working there. What yes, was great about it? Well, for one, um, the guys that were in charge, um, the guys that owned the place, Mr. Hill, Brad Hill, shout out to Brad Hill, who's still there, Mr. Hill, RIP. Um, they would hire kids like myself straight off the street. Uh -huh. I didn't have any ID, nothing. It was kind of like a trust system, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And we got paid in cash, you know? And um, <laughs> really? the, the fact that they would bring us in and, and a lot of us robbed them blind behind the scenes, <laughs> but they would still hire these, Wait, these you underprivileged you kids. You robbed the Statue of Liberty? I, I'm not saying I did it. Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I, I, I love that job. Let's just put it that way. Everything I did was square biz. That's why I'm welcome there to this day. What was your job there? I did garbage. Oh, really? Yeah, don't, don't look down on garbage, because that was, that was a step up from doing the counters. Now, if you watch the Mike's, uh, Mike's and Men uh, documentary, I actually went back to visit my old job mm -hmm. and still knew how to run the place. I did a little sweeping up, you know, check you the counters. You never forget check... that stuff, no, right? It's like Ryan Do you Lord. remember the inscription at the base of the Statue of Liberty? I've never been in a statue, so I couldn't tell you. Dude. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe you're, hung, you're, you're tired, you're huddled mass. Yeah, something. close enough. Yeah, yeah right. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> how long did you work there? Uh, I worked there for five years. Yeah, and, and just that's all you know of it, huh? Well, I know that she's there. <laughs> she was there, you know? Lighting the way. Yeah, lighting the way, you know? That was the first thing you see when you're in the harbor, so, yeah. On the TV show... Yay, America! People call you... <laughs> On the TV show, they call you Shotgun. Yeah. That was your first nickname. That was my nickname, period. That's the only nickname I ever had. Well, um, is Method Man considered to be a nickname? No, that's a block name, street name. I totally see. Totally different. Totally oh, different. really? Yeah, because, you know, you get caught doing something, people don't know your real name. They're like, Method Man did it. I see. <laughs> oh, okay, who's that? Super That's Hero? clever, right. really. Exactly. And why Shotgun? Why were you called Shotgun? Um, it was a name that my father's uh, friend had gave me when I was younger. I had gotten this uh, little cap gun. Uh-huh. Like, one of those... You bend it like this, snap it back. Pow, you had one. You probably shot someone's eye out. You know, my mother didn't let me have one, but I'd seen other kids have them, and I was jealous. That's what's yeah. up. You would have been jealous of me then. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, the, my father's best friend, Tooley, seen that I would sleep with this gun, I would take it everywhere with me. Mm -hmm. So he just started calling me Shotgun, and it stuck. <laughs> my mom still calls me Shotgun. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Your mom calls you Shotgun. Still, to this day, I have family members that still call me Shotgun. Your real name's Clifford. Yeah, my Does anyone Clifford. call you Cliff or Clifford? Um... Mainly people that don't know me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. you, oh, you're on this podcast, uh, Marvel. Uh, big comic I know you're movie. a big comic book fan. Big you comic love comic movie. books, right? I How many comic books do you have? I have over 30,000 books. 30,000 comic books? I've been collecting since I was 13. Those aren't in the storage place with the skis, are they? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any good ones? Yeah, yeah, actually, um... They were in the same storage unit. They didn't pay attention to the books. Wow. wow. I, I bag and board them. 
I bag them and board them, and then I put them in these boxes. Anyone that collects comics knows exactly what I'm talking about. So they didn't take the comics. They took no. the, You have to be on the lookout for Nordic thieves. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What's the best comic you have? Uh, my Wolverine first appearance, Hulk 181. Ooh, that's a good one. Do you yeah. have any idea what it's worth? Yes, I do. Because I went to on Comic Book Men, uh, Kevin Smith's show, Comic Book Men. Right, yeah. And they appraised it for me. I think it came in at $5,000. $5,000, but you yeah. would never part with that. No. No. Do you ever read it? Oh. I, I've read it, but I've never opened that particular book. I see. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, but this guess. podcast you're on is a dramatic, it's not your typical interview podcast. No. It's uh, scripted. It's, it's like scripted. It's like actually acting, mm -hmm. but you're in a booth. Was that a dream come true for you to be a part Anything of that? Anything with Marvel is a dream come true for yeah. me, brother. I don't care if they had me, you know, I, I could have been in the credits of Avengers for like just sweeping the floor. Yeah. You know, loading the camera. Have you approached them and said, hey, by the way, I'm a big fan. You I'd like to I be tried, a superhero. I tried that. I tried that technique. I recently put up a picture on my Instagram, but I took it down. And it's of me, because I, I work out a lot now, you know, if you can't. You know, oh, you work out. It's, that yeah. explains all your muscles. So I'm, I'm trying to tell them, you know, I have a superhero's physique. I think yes, I'm ready. That's right. I believe I'm ready. I told them the same Not thing. Not to mention I fight crime at night. So once I leave here, <laughs> I'm going to be a busy dude tonight. Well, maybe that's the thing, is that you're too real for that. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Well, it's very good to see you. Yes, uh, sir. I'm sorry about the skis. That's really disappointing. It happens. <laughs> it happens. But uh, at Man to you can see Wu Tang and American Saga is on Hulu now. And the, what is the name of the podcast that you're on? Um, the podcast is uh, Marvels. Um, check Marvels. It out. Yes, yes. Also, Nike. Y'all made Travis Scott a pair of them Wu Tang Nikes. Oh. Them dunks. I'm going to need a pair. I said it here on Jimmy Kimmel. You don't have one? No. Guys, Nike, you better <laughs> you better get to work. Method Man, everybody, we'll be right back with Shade. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.